What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Red Seat Radio. My name is Corbin, and if you hear a weed whacker in the background, I apologize. I tried to wait it out. It clearly is not stopping, um, and I need to get these videos done before this weekend where I'm going away. So if you hear that, I apologize. I'll try and get it out as much as possible. But I, what I wanted to talk about today is this offense, and specifically, I'm talking about Kike Hernandez. Now, it's no secret that this Red Sox offense has not gotten off to a very good start, but Kike Hernandez, besides Bobby Dahlbeck, is kind of at the forefront of that. He's hitting only 164, and no matter where you're putting him in this lineup right now, he doesn't seem to be able to figure it out. So what I want to do today is I want to go over a couple of different possible solutions for this Kike Hernandez problem, and I want you guys at the end of it all to tell me which solution you would pick and which solution you would do if you were in charge of this team. But before I get into that, do me a favor, make sure you guys have hit that subscribe button if you've not already. We talk Red Sox content almost every single day, so if you're new here don't be afraid to hit that button also make sure you guys are hitting that like button as well if you are newly subscribed or currently subscribed it is the best way to help this channel out and it would mean a lot to me thank you all very much for clicking on this one let's get into it so what I did was I came up with three different solutions to this Kike Hernandez issue. And the first one is simply replacement. And what I mean by replacement is not ship them out and see what we can get for them. What I mean by replacement is kind of similar to the scenario that we saw with Bobby Dahlbeck. Bobby Dahlbeck is another guy on this team who was starting the year and he was doing really poorly. He was hitting 143, I believe, and the Red Sox went out and they brought up Franchi Cordero, who, is he lighting the world on fire? No, but he's finding ways to get on base. We saw in the Atlanta series where he took four separate walks, something Bobby Dahlbeck was struggling with this whole year. Could there be a similar player out there that could do the same for Kike Hernandez? And I think the answer is yes. That player is Jaron Duran, who we saw once this year when he came up and replaced Kike after Kike was on the COVID list, but Kike came back the day after. So Jaron Duran wasn't up here for what, 48 total hours. Maybe this time around we bring Duran up and leave him up here for a little bit to platoon with Kike Hernandez. Historically, Kike Hernandez mashes lefties, and obviously he's not doing particularly well against either side this year, but could Jaron Duran being a platoon and hitting for Kike Hernandez when there is a righty on the mound and we slot Jackie Bradley over in center field work for a little bit, possibly. In my opinion, it would allow Kike Hernandez not only the time to regain his confidence, but it allows him the time and he allows him to allocate the energy into fixing the mechanical issues that we've been seeing from him this year. On top of that, I really think Jaron Duran could be a immediate boost to this Red Sox offense. He adds contact, he adds speed, he adds a decent and he could genuinely be the solution we're looking for for this Kike Hernandez thing. Now, I'm not saying that Jaron Duran will take over Kike's spot and Kike will just become some utility outfielder because that probably won't happen. But using Jaron Duran as a fourth outfielder and a platoon for Kike Hernandez until Kike can get his feet under him doesn't seem like a bad idea to me. Solution number two is movement. Now, this has kind of been the strategy that the Red Sox have been using so far and hasn't been working out well. We've seen Kike Hernandez in what four or five different spots in this lineup so far this year and it hasn't seemed to be able to get him going at all. I don't personally see this as the solution but there could be a spot in this lineup that genuinely does help him. Is the eighth or ninth hole in this lineup what Kike needs to get going? It allows him to have maybe even the first couple of innings strictly fielding so he can get his feet wet during the game. It allows him to watch every single player before him and see their approach, especially guys who are hitting really well right now, and maybe even mimic that approach at the plate for himself to get himself up and going. It allows him to focus a little bit more on his mechanics. So is moving him down in the lineup a solution? To me personally, probably not, but it is definitely a possibility. And the last solution I want to talk about is a pretty simple one and that is time. Time heals all wounds and right now Kike Hernandez looks injured at the plate. So maybe the simple answer is just time. I know this is kind of a cop-out because obviously at some point time will heal Kike Hernandez and Kike will be back to who Kike was. But why I bring this up is because I want to ask you guys, how long do you give, how much time are you giving to Kike Hernandez to allow him to become the player that we know he can be? It's a long way to the top if we want to rock and roll here in this division. And we're, every single game we play is a little less time that we have to do that. 
in my opinion, we don't have a ton of time left to try and figure guys out and let guys breathe and figure themselves out because every single game we play is a little bit deeper in the division we get. But I want to hear your opinions. Do you give them another month? Do you give them another two weeks, another four weeks? Do you just simply let it play out and see what happens? Let me know what you think of that. Let me know what you think of all of my solutions. Is there a solution that you really like? Is there a solution that you don't think should be on here? Is there a solution that you think should be on here that I didn't include? Let me know all your thoughts on this Kike situation down below. As always, if you've made it to the end of this video, do me a favor. Make sure you guys have hit that subscribe button if you've not already. Like I said at the beginning of the video, we talk Red Sox content almost every single day. Also, make sure that you guys are hitting the like button on these videos. If you are newly subscribed or currently subscribed, it is the best way to help this channel out, and it would mean a lot to me. Thank you all very much for clicking on this one, and I will see you in the next one.